There are several different ways to work out a car's gear ratio. This important data can be calculated by counting teeth on the pinion and ring gears. Alternatively, you can just find the gear ratio in your vehicle, 17-digit VIN number. If you want to know how to do this, I detail exactly how you can decode a VIN plate and learn the gear ratio of your vehicle. Just watch until the end of the video. The gear ratio can be found in the VDS part of a vehicle's VIN number. The VDS is the Vehicle Documentation section on the VIN. The VDS is found in the 4th to 8th characters. You will find information here about a car's model, brand, and gear ratio. Some VIN numbers do not include information about the gear ratio, and in these circumstances, you will need to use other methods to calculate it. What is a VIN number? All vehicles have a VIN number. VIN stands for Vehicle Identification Number and consists of 17 different digits. If you don't know what you are doing, decoding a VIN plate may seem impossible. Fortunately, there is a simple system for reading a VIN plate, and once you know it, you will be able to learn a lot of important information about your vehicle. Here is a list of what each digit means on a VIN number. The first number represents the vehicle's country of origin. The second character represents the car manufacturer. The first character tells you the vehicle's division, or type. The fourth to eighth characters share information about the car's brand, engine, model, gear ratio, series, and so on. The ninth digit is the manufacturer's security authorization code. The tenth character is the car's model year. The eleventh character tells you which plant the car was made in. The remaining characters are the unique vehicle production number. To decode your VIN number, you can use free VIN checkers online. Alternatively, you can contact a mechanic who will be able to use a VIN decoder to tell you all the important information found in your car's VIN plate. How do I find my VIN number? The location of a VIN number will vary between different vehicles. A VIN plate is a legal requirement, so if you can't find one on your car, you are not looking in the right place. Here are some of the most common places to find a car's VIN number. Under the hood, often on the front engine block, driver's side of the dashboard, often found where the dash meets the windshield, on a sticker inside the door, usually the driver's side, on the vehicle title and registration document. Once you have located the VIN sticker, you can get to work decoding it and finding out your car's gear ratio. What does gear ratio mean on cars? Before we share exactly how to find your gear ratio by VIN, Let's first explain what a gear ratio is. In simple terms, all of a car's gears are attached to a cog on the road wheel side of the gearbox, the output gear, and a cog attached to the engine side, the input gear. Each gear from 1 to 5 will use a different size cog and have a different gear ratio. For example, first gear is used to get a car moving, and the gear ratio will need to be able to handle this role. The input gear in the first gear is much smaller than the input for the fifth gear. The smaller the input gear compared to the outer cog, the higher the gear ratio. In the most basic terms, when the input gear rotates the engine more than the output gear rotates the wheel, this creates the greatest amount of torque. A high level of torque is needed to move a car from a standstill to driving. Keeping torque in mind as your car moves through the gears, less will be needed thanks to the vehicle's momentum. In the fifth gear, the input gear is bigger than the output which results in a lower gear ratio. To work out a car's gear ratio, you need to divide the number of teeth on the input gear by the number of teeth on the output gear. How to find gear ratio by VIN. If you don't want to be counting the teeth on the various cogs in your car's gear system, there is a much easier way to find your car's gear ratio. As we mentioned above, the fourth to eighth digits of the VIN number contain important information about your vehicle. These characters are known as the VDS or Vehicle Descriptor section. However, not all manufacturers will include a car's gear ratio in the VDS. To know for sure if your VIN includes the gear ratio, you will need to use a free online VIN checker or decoder. If your car's engine rotates 3.73 times for every complete wheel spin, the gear ratio will be 3 to 73 to 1. If the gear ratio is in the car's VIN, you will see 3731 as part of the VDS. The VDS will contain characters to represent the vehicle's mod brand, series, and so on. If the gear ratio is in the VIN, this is where it will be. Other ways to work out gear ratio. A car's VIN will not always include the gear ratio, so where else can you find it? Well, you are going to have to pop the hood and start doing some math. You can work out your car's gear ratio by counting how many times the back wheel on an RWD car rotates for each full turn of the drivetrain. For example, 
If the wheel turns four and a half times, the gear ratio will be 4.50 to 1. Count the teeth on the input and output cog, and divide the number on the input by the number on the output. Look at your vehicle owner's manual. Why is gear ratio important? Many drivers can go their whole driving life without knowing what their vehicle's gear ratio is. Gear ratios can help drivers to learn the maximum speed for each gear. Also, when you change the tires on your car, you may need to alter the gear ratio. Modifying a car's gear ratio, also known as gearing, is most commonly performed by drivers of muscle cars and trucks. Gearing a car can help to improve engine performance and also allows greater speed in different gears. Other benefits of changing a car's gear ratio include better fuel efficiency, reduced wear and tear on certain parts, increases towing capacity, boosts acceleration and speed, increases torque in different gears. If you want to tow heavier loads, altering the gear ratio can give your car the power needed throughout various gears to pull the extra weight. Also, when more torque is produced, the better acceleration your vehicle will have. To summarize what we talked about in this video, finding the gear ratio in a car's VIN number is easy. All you need to do is find the VDS part of the VIN. This is located between the 4th and 8th characters. If you don't know how to decode a VIN, you can use an online VIN checker to find out what each digit of your car's VIN means. If the gear ratio cannot be found in your car's VIN, you can divide the number of teeth on the input by the teeth on the output gear to work it out. Alternatively, you can count how many times a wheel spins for each rotation of the drivetrain. Now you know how to find your gear ratio by VIN, you can learn more about how your car's engine works. If you want to improve your car's performance, you may want to try modifying the gear ratio. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.